Good morning, world. <sighs> yeah, excuse me. You know the drill. Got to keep yourself in trim. Know what I mean? <laughs> Impressed, eh? Right. Good to do your exercises. Here's a good look. Feet together, mouth closed, arms upstretched. Oh, very good for the spine, this. Also comes in handy if you get caught doing a bank. <laughs> bank up, bank up. I bet it's enough of that. I feel better already, me. You know, all the old curtains are twitching. That'll be old Ma Riggins at her post. She who sees everything is under starter's orders. I bet she's a wonderful sight up there. Yeah. Stood there in her army surplus nighty. Oh, like the centre page pull out of the Embalmers Weekly. <laughs> the jeweled smiley of the neck curtains. <laughs> what a woman. Eyes of a cat, ears of a bat, and a tongue like a flag in a wind tunnel. <laughs> Round here, you know, they reckon you're only a cockney if you're born within the sound of her mouth. <laughs> that could be anywhere south of Watford, really. <laughs> but that's the price you have to pay for living round here, see? Nosy neighbours. See, every move you make is recorded and they pass it round like chicken pox in a brownie camp. <laughs> Although I must admit, on occasions, the old girl network can come in a bit useful. Like we've all had the odd Saturday night, you know, when the old tonsil varnish starts to reach parts it's never reached before. <laughs> you know, suddenly Mother Nature decides to draw a veil over the whole proceedings. Or next thing you know, you're at home, aren't you? It's morning and you wake up, wishing you hadn't. Oh. Well, supposing you want to fill in a few of the blank bits, like, were you hit by a fleet of horse boxes? Or maybe, why you're sleeping with a life-size cutout of Colonel Sanders? <laughs> now, come on, we've all done it, haven't we? Well, if you want answers round here, you've only got to stick your head out the window and you'll get 15 different blow-by-blow -blow accounts of the old sordid story. Not that I'd stick me head out of the window on the morning after Saturday night. Oh, the milkman would have a cardiac just looking at it. <laughs> In any case, you wouldn't want to find out what you've done, would you? Well, not on a Sunday morning, see? Cos Sunday morning is a priceless gift given to us so we can get plenty of kip, grow big and strong again. Ready for Sunday night? Hey! <laughs> well, that's the theory everywhere else in the world, but not here. Nah. Cos this street has a population who can't sleep. Nah. Whose mission in life is to spoil it for those who can. Look, put it this way. Anyone who's lying in bed with his eyes closed round here on a Sunday has probably got a date with a coroner on Monday. <laughs> when old Bill Shakespeare lived round here, he wrote, If you have tears to shed, prepare to shed them. He must have been talking about Sunday morning. <laughs> it might start normally, but, oh, brother. Now, if it's all right for you, sir, I'd just like to go over your story one more time. You've been over it one more time. You've been going over it like a drug-crazed hurdler. <laughs> yeah, you say you're the Russian ambassador and you claim <laughs> diplomatic immunity. <laughs> right. Right. Would you mind saying something in Russian, please, sir? Vodka. <laughs> Actually, I was hoping for a bit more than that. Double vodka and tonic. <laughs> Yes, all right, sir. Now, you left your home yesterday evening to attend a function. A knees up for Lenin's birthday. <laughs> right disappointment it was and all. Why is that, sir? Well, he didn't show up, did he? <laughs> bit optimistic, aren't we, sir? I mean, he's been dead over 60 years. Well, the Kremlin reckon he's feeling a bit better. <laughs> I'll send him a card, sir. Now, at this party, am I right in saying that you had a few drinks? You're just my usual glass of white wine. And then what happened, sir? Well, some rolled me over in a clover and collapsed. Any idea why, sir? Well, only no rolled me over in a clover. <laughs> why you collapsed? Well, I don't... Look, I'm not a doctor, am I? Look, the way I see it, if your legs give out, you naturally fall in and eat on top of them. <laughs> One glass of white wine? Right. And that's all you remember, that I found you at 7 o'clock this morning, fast asleep? Right. On Blackfriars Bridge with one set of golf clubs? Right. Well... <laughs> By all accounts, sir, that was one hell of a rave-up. Well, you ought to know, Des, it was round your house, wasn't it, mate? <laughs> <laughs> My God, I remember. Of course I remember. Cool. Well, do you know what? I've never seen so many flat feet in one room. Shrop with this nightmare, that must have been. <laughs> they weren't all coppers. No, four cat burglars and Ken Livingston. Wait. <laughs> and if anyone asked you, you weren't there, right? Right. I had to raid my own flat twice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. This, Des, I don't want to rush you. It was a good no. night, but... Oh, yeah. no, I oh, know. You get some skip. <sighs> I've got to go anyway. I'm parked on a roundabout. Um... <laughs> <coughs> uh, Dave? What? 
You know that Melanie bird, the one with the red spiky hair, looked like an embarrassed hedgehog? <laughs> I thought you fancied her. Yeah. Did you, uh, take her home? Nah, not me, mate. I know it did, though. Who? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no wonder you got shag pole carpets round your house. <laughs> Well, who? You did. I did. Her dad owns a sports shop. <laughs> Dorse v. Dania. Comrade. <laughs> yeah, there's hang about, though, what? Oh, God. Oh, I feel like step those horse. <laughs> oh. Oh, blimey, I look like what you find under it. <laughs> Give it up, mate. Give it up. Devote yourself to Barry Manilow and fruit juice. <laughs> oh. oh, do you know what? If Dr. Jekyll lived round here, he wouldn't have to take one of them potions. Just go to one of Des the Copper's parties. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hello, mate. Oh. Goodness, I thought he'd never go. Oh, Vera. Oh. Oh, Jim. Oh, Vera. <laughs> oh, Jim. I love the way you say my name, the way it just rolls off your tongue. Well, don't get too worked up, love. I have the same problem with meatballs. <laughs> what are you doing here? Look, I don't want you to be offended, but there comes a time when every man needs a woman. Oh, child, where is she? In the kitchen? I meant me. Oh, tilt. Look, Vera. Oh. You see, I woke up this morning and I said to myself, I said, what can a woman do to make Jim's life just that little bit easier? Yeah, I thought that and all. What can I do to show how much I really care? What about a one-way ticket to Mombasa? And then it came to me in a blinding flash, like a blazing thunderbolt from the heavens. And do you know what I did, Jim? Blew up my toaster by the sound of it. I washed your socks. Hey? As a gesture of love, I climbed in through the back window and washed 14 pairs of socks. Blimey, what am I going to get Valentine's Day? <laughs> Don't tell me, a free packet of Omo and a season ticket down the laundrette. Surely you understand what I meant by it, Jim? The deep underriding significance? I know what you meant, yeah. You're saying I've got smelly feet. No, I was humbling myself before you. It was a declaration of heartfelt desire. I wanted to be intimate with you, Jim, via your socks. Look, Vera, I know it's been a bit brass monkeys lately, but them socks don't go anywhere but on my feet. I know you find it hard to understand, Jim. You feel confused, don't you? You feel unworthy. I feel sick. But my vital organ is palpitating for you. My flesh is quivering. You sound like a jellyfish. <laughs> you, Jim. Vera, Vera, look, I feel very flattering and that, but I think we should have a, a talk, you know. I mean, look, I, I do like you a bit. Um, I like, like you a bit. It's, uh, it's just not a big bit, you see. I'll give you some idea. You could uh, probably fit in a woodworm's ear hole. No. No, Jim, don't say any more. I do understand, really. You do? Yeah. I frighten you. Well, of course you do. You'd frighten a werewolf. <laughs> You see before you oh. a hot-blooded, passionate woman. Oh, Vera. <laughs> and like any man, you're afraid you won't live up to my expectations. You what? But you mustn't fret, oh. Jim. We can work it out together. Yeah, 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 but you see, yeah, well, uh, I really, I don't want it worked out. Now, I want to leave it where it is. You, you mustn't fight it, Jim. Mm. I can see that look in your eyes. What look? That glazed look, it's love. It's not love. It's three bottles of wine and half a gallon of cheap vodka. Oh, Jim! Uh, don't push me away again. Not this time, please. Vera, please, but I've got an headache. <laughs> oh, God. Not that old chestnut again. Yeah, afraid so, yeah. How is it I never get headaches? Because it's physically impossible to stick both ears in front of your own mouth. Right, Jim London. <laughs> You've had your chance and that's it. You won't get it again. Could I have that in right and it'll save a lot of trouble in the long run? No, I'm off. Oh, well, go on then. Just don't slam the door. I don't think you heard me, Jim. I said, said I'm leaving. So what do you want? A gold watch? <laughs> Just don't slam that. She slammed it. The... Oh. <laughs> go to sleep, you old squatter. I know. 
I've only just got here. You knew that and all, didn't you? Ooh. I must be the only one in the world whose alarm clock winds him up. <laughs> For your information, mate, it's Sunday. The day of rest. Oh. Unless you happen to be religious. Oh. you! <laughs> oh, dear. How do they know that God has had his bacon and eggs by half past eight in the morning? <laughs> I can't remember reading in the Bible. By half past seven, the Almighty had booked his alarm call. <laughs> oh, it's not so. Oh, I've had enough. Oh, oh by world. Oh. Surrender or give in. It's a oh. nice way to treat your father, isn't it, eh? I've been thumping them way out there like a what pastry chef. Well, I couldn't help it, could I? <laughs> I thought the thumping was in my head. What time was it? Time you was up. Oh, I've been up and down and up again. I feel like a flaming SDP opinion poll. <laughs> Hello. Who's kicked the bucket? You mean I haven't? <laughs> You've had a skin for haven't you? Cobblers. I can tell it a mile off. I overdid me aerobics. Yeah, they out of it. <laughs> Go on, dear, but you should see your face. You look like an advert for a video nasty. <laughs> the trouble with you is you don't know when you've had enough. The trouble with me is I ain't had any yet, have I? <laughs> well, look, what's, what are you doing around this early anyway? You told me you need eight hours every night. Well, it's not me, it's me teeth. Oh. I alternate now. Got a spare set for me birthday. Sean. <laughs> Which I hasten to add, you forgot. I'll leave it out, Dad. You think I forget me own flesh and blood? Here, happy birthday. <laughs> golf clubs. Mm. What am I going to do with a set of golf clubs down the wall with road? Well, you've got a bike, didn't you? I oh, am. Yeah. Well, if you start pedalling now, you'll be halfway to St Andrews by all. I'm going. <laughs> Look, I'm not strolling around some field with a crowd of check trousered pansies. Look, half them check trousered pansies have earned a million. Well, I can't earn a million. Why not? They cut off your dome money. <laughs> it's not all you get cut off. You hang around here much longer. Oh. <laughs> I see. But if you're trying to chuck me out, you only have to say so, you know. I am your father, right? That's what parents are for, so you can talk to them. Man to man. Even your mother. <laughs> All right, man to man. Well, go on, I can take it. I'm trying to chuck you out. Well, that weren't so bad, was it? <laughs> well, well, stick the kettle on. I've got a throat like a day goes dormant. Look at it. Oh, hang on, what's that? It's my tool bag. Oh, no. Oh, I remember that in the last time. South East London Mogadon sales went up 800%. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll fix that door while I'm here. Uh, what door? Well, there's always a door needs fixing. I tell you, they get right up my nose, doors. Another two minutes and I might prove that. <laughs> I'll tell you something else and all. If I've spoken to my father, the way you speak to me, give me a good belt round the head. Well, where is he now when we need him, then? <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with that door. How would you know? When was the last time you had a look at it? I've been hiding behind it every five minutes since eight o'clock this morning. Well, it can't do it any harm to give it a check-up, can it? Dad, in the history of carpentry, no door has ever collapsed from art failure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's our fault, yeah. You can always trust me instincts, yeah. What? You've got a screw loose. <laughs> they reckon it's hereditary, you know. <laughs> oh. You can answer it. No, I ain't. Well, it might be something important. It might be something enormously trivial. Cheer, wonder is here. Oh, I knew I could trust me instincts. 
Have you met Wanda Pickles? Wanda? Roman Polanski. Roman Wanda. And you too. Listen, I do hope I am not disturbing you. Oh, no, he's been up for hours, love. Yeah, yeah, it's 26 at the last count. Oh, good. Well, you see, this gentleman friend of mine has just dropped by and I was hoping you might be able to... How's your husband? Who? Your husband, you know, the one you worship with your body. Yeah. Well, one of them anyway. Oh. Husband, oh, he's very much better, thank you. They've moved him to Parkhurst. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, this gentleman friend of mine has just dropped by, and, well, of course, what do I run out of? Excuses. <laughs> Reds. Oh, I get it, yeah. Well, I wouldn't bother you normally, of course, but, I mean, it's Sunday. The day of rest. Oh, your gentleman friend's gonna get a lot of that then, isn't he? Uh, Sunday, yeah, yeah. All the shops will be shut. It's not hers, open all hours, mate. <laughs> I mean, there is always patels on the corner, but I mean. What do you mean? Well, I mean. Patel. It'll be kosher, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> kosher? What are you talking about, you silly person, please? Just a couple of slices. Oh, all right. And if it's not too much trouble, a dab of Marge would be a great help. Help who? You or the pain in my neck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so well into it. <laughs> oh, that's bit. <sighs> Do you smoke at all, Mr. Uh, Polanski? No, no, not anymore, love. No, the quacks are not to pack it up. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? Because they all fade up, and yet they all do it, don't they? Yeah, he certainly did, yeah. Well, there you are, you see. Uh, cremated him Friday. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I don't really smoke. I mean, I just keep a few for guests, visitors. Just a few hundred. Oh. <laughs> well, I expect your chest is pumping away like new now, is it? Yes, you've hit the nail on the head there, love. I feel 20 years younger. Oh. Yeah. Mind you, it's no thanks to that stinking tar ridden weed. No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble with your water? <laughs> As I say, for a man of my age, I'm just about in peak con... <laughs> Here you are, bread and marge. I scraped off the black bits and the red bits of it, the green bits. Oh, <laughs> oh you are a love. Isn't he a love, Roman? Yeah, he's a love, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you really are a love. All right, all right, we've established I'm a love. Oh, I nearly forgot. <sighs> a picture of my stand. Do you know, I always thought that was Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> no, not there, there. That's him, look. Throwing slates off the roof last week in Wandsworth. <laughs> bless him. No, oh, bless him, yeah. Takes a nice photograph, doesn't he? I like all them guard dogs and the barbed wire, yeah. Very photogenic, yeah. What was he, what was he protesting for then? Uh, oh, bigger roofs? I don't know. The big wally. Let's people talk him into things. Yeah, they certainly talked him into something. Yeah, look at that banner he's carrying. Free the Grecian 2000. <laughs> Roman, I've been very rude. <laughs> That's my husband doing his thing, as you might say. Yeah, yeah very nice too. Yeah, here, here, here. send up the newspaper. I get an enlargement. Look nice over the mantelpiece. Oh, <laughs> what could I tell? Would you like one, Jim? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want everyone round here to know my next door neighbour is mixed up pickles, the one man prison riot. <laughs> You shouldn't joke, Jim. I mean, it's not very nice for him being banged up for 34 offences he didn't commit. <laughs> Have you ever been to prison, Roman? No, I'll get enough punishment just going home, love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I do like a man with a sense of humour. Oh, there seems to be a lack of real men around these days, don't you think so? Well, I've not been looking about it. <laughs> what do you think, Roman? I, I think you're dead right there, love. All these young fellas today, they've all gone soft. I reckon it's only their hairspray holding most of them up. Well, that won't affect you then, will it? <laughs> it's true, though. I mean, what have happened to all them square jaws and rippling muscles, hairy forearms and powerful thighs? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking about, Roy Rogers or Trigger? 
Well, no one of them's been stuffed. Like I was saying, love, we are a dying breed. Well, perhaps I ought to have you stuffed and all then. <laughs> oh, I said what a terrible thought. Now, you never know, though, do you? I mean, maybe one day in the not-too-distant future, we'll all get stuffed. <laughs> I was hoping in about the next ten seconds, actually. <laughs> oh, you oh. are a love. Yeah, a Ooh. big knackered love. Oh. Arriva Dirty. <laughs> Roman. What? Do you know he speaks <coughs> remarkably good English? <laughs> Do you know you speak remarkably good English? What? No. Here. Yeah. Arriva Dirty Roman. <laughs> oh, Dad, Dad, oh, do me a favour, swerve around it. Look, can't, can't you, can't you do it in your own house? Well, I don't like my own house, do I? <laughs> You've got a smashing house. Oh no. Well, what's wrong with it? It's got your mum in it. <laughs> Is that all? Oh, look, give me a screwdriver. Uh... No, no, I thought of that. They'll give you life imprisonment. <laughs> Not for her, you burk. For me. Mm. Mind you. <clears throat> I could always say it was self-defence. Well, I suppose you're right, really. Your face could qualify as a dangerous weapon. <laughs> yeah, what's your mouth? Well, that's what you used to say. Well, no, I did. She could stun a rhino at 40 yards just looking at it. <laughs> You know, it beats me how you two ever had me, you know. I mean, you never get lower than each other's throats, do you? <laughs> Mind you, it weren't like that before we got married. <laughs> hey? Lord Stoneway, is that the time? <laughs> hey, hang on. Dad? You mean I'm a... <laughs> well, I could join the police, I suppose. <laughs> That's it. The knocker's off. <coughs> Windows closed. Wanders wandered. Dad will be halfway to paradise in the Freemason's arms. Jimbo, you've cracked it, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>